On Saturday, January 20th, Iranian media reported the successful launch of a satellite named Saraya. This is the first time that Iranian satellites have reached a 750-kilometer orbit, which is considered one of the country's most important space achievements. The news of the launch of this satellite comes at a time of growing tensions in the Middle East following the start of the Israel-Palestine conflict. Israel has begun a new wave of attacks against Iranian targets in Syria and Hezbollah forces in Lebanon. Just days before this, in addition to Iran's missile attacks on Erbil, Iraq, and Idlib, Syria, the two countries of Iran and Pakistan carried out airstrikes on each other's territory. On the other hand, the unprecedented military clashes between the United States and the United Kingdom against Yemen have raised concerns in the energy market and the transit of goods, especially in the Red Sea. The launch of this satellite has been criticized by Western countries. The United States has previously stated that Iran's actions in launching satellites violate a United Nations Security Council resolution. The U.S. intelligence community stated in its 2023 Global Threat Assessment that the development of Iran's space programs in the field of satellite launches is considered a potential threat to the United States and its allies. Undoubtedly, Iran's space program has been a source of doubt, debate, and disagreement between the country and Western countries. Iran's space program began in earnest in the early 2005 with the launch of the Sina-1 satellite with Russian assistance, and by the 2010 it had reached a high level of localization with the construction of the Safir satellite launcher and the launch of the Omit satellite. Despite the fact that there was a comprehensive plan to develop this field in the future, and the construction of the Samoric launcher alongside the development program of the Sarouche family of satellites is a testament to this claim, due to international issues and pressure from a certain faction of domestic political currents, this field was neglected during the past decade. However, Iran began a new phase of its space program in 2020. The most important development of this new phase was the entry of the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps Aerospace Force into the field of space launchers and the focus on solid fuel satellite launchers. Previously, the production and development of satellite launchers was the exclusive domain of Iran's Ministry of Defense, with a focus on the liquid fuel sector. The Aerospace Force entered this field with the construction and introduction of the GA-SED SLV and the launch of the NOR-1 satellite in April 2020. Later on, NOOR-2 was launched in March 2022 and NOR-3 was launched in September 2023. In response to these launches, representatives of France, Germany, and the United Kingdom sent a letter to the UN calling Iran's launch of the GA-SED satellite launcher a violation of Resolution 2,231 inches of the Security Council. Amidst this controversy, the Aerospace Force unveiled its ambitious plan to develop solid-fuel satellite launchers up to a 36,000-kilometer orbit. According to the Space Development Program of the Aerospace Force Command, GA-M100, GA-M105, and GA-M120 SLVs will be built. In March 2022, the controversial GA-M100 satellite launcher was unveiled. The GA-M100 is Iran's first three-stage solid-fuel satellite launcher with a movable nozzle. It weighs 18.8 tons and is about 14.6 meters long, with a maximum payload capacity of 100 kilograms. The GA-M100 can inject satellites weigh 80 kilograms into a 500-kilometer orbit from the Earth's surface, or lighter satellites into a 750-kilometer orbit. In comparison, the two-stage Sejil solid-fuel missile, Iran's only solid-fuel missile with a range of 2,000 kilometers, weighs about 23.6 tons and is 17.5 meters long. The most notable aspect of the GA-M100 is the use of the Rafe engine. The Rafe is the most advanced solid-fuel engine that has ever been built in the country. Rafe engine's trump card is the ability to achieve a solid-fuel engine with a movable nozzle. Another distinctive feature of the Rafe engine is that it is made of a very lightweight composite body, like the Salman space engine. The recent launch is actually the eighth launch of the IRGC satellite since 2020. Up to this point, five launches had been registered for the GA-SED satellite and two for the GA-M100 satellite. Of these eight launches, two were suborbital, two failed, and four others were accompanied by complete success. If the GA-M100 configuration is used in a ground-to-ground -ground missile, it is expected that this missile can carry a payload of 300 kilograms to a range of 6,000 kilometers.